welcome. This is a Neo Soul Guitar Chords lesson. We are going to use seven different voicings to play over one chord type, seven different chord shapes to play over one chord type in a beautiful, interactive, rich, and colorful way with a lot of texture. This is basically coming from jazz guitar, solo jazz guitar, chord melodies on jazz guitar, and now this sound is being used a lot in neo-soul guitar, certainly R&B, and even lo-fi hip-hop and highly produced um, electronic music where these, this guitar sound, these beautiful voicings are being integrated into that. So let's look at how we can play over one chord type with a bunch of different voicings in this style with this sound. I'm Jared Borkowski from soundguitarlessons.com. Looking forward to this topic. Let's dive right in. All right, so the beautiful thing about this style and this sound is, first of all, how rich the chords are. So when you just play a seventh chord, it's one note beyond a triad. You usually might have the root, the five, and the three, the root, the five, and the three. And you add a seven. And it's just that one note gives it so much more complexity, so much more texture. But then with this kind of texture that's a little more ambiguous sounding, it has less weight to it towards the root. That's what a triad, a triad is so bold sounding. But even that one seventh chord, that seventh note in there, that seventh of the chord tone, that is the seven. Um, and this is an E flat major seven right here, very typical root position voicing, one, five, seven, three. The nature of that sound though, allows you to replace it or get that same sound with many, 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 many other voicings. Now with triads, you can do other inversions of triads and you can, do, there are many voicings of triads too, but, um, but they all still have much more the same character uh, than once you start playing with extensions and uh, seventh chords. So for example, what, what we're looking for here are different chord shapes and different chord voicings that aren't just major aren't just e flat major seven though that's fine too you could do voicings of e flat major seven we're going to do this one this is a voicing of exactly the same notes put in a different order e flat major seven now the seven is on top and then this is an e flat major triad here five one three and then seven on top and you can do all kinds of other voicings that's gorgeous and that's another voicing of e flat major seven here's another one that's E flat major seven. Those are all just the same notes. Um, here's another one. Now the, those are not ones we're gonna use because my point is that we can use other chord tones. We can actually have, play the six instead of the seven. And really anytime you, you are playing major seven or major six, they are interchangeable with each other. They can function the same. So major seven and major six are interchangeable with each other. So we're gonna look for voicings that are major seven that have the six. We're gonna add the nine sometimes based on how easy it's gonna play. And I'm just gonna show you a handful here. We're gonna have seven voicings total that we can kind of groove on and play uh, this style with. And just know that the the options are, are practically unlimited for how many different things we can play. So I just played a few more E flat major seven voicings and we're not even using three of those that I just played you. We're gonna do seven total that don't even use those. So I already showed you this one. This is a second inversion voicing of E flat major seven because the five is on the bottom. Okay, um, well, this is seven up here and we can replace it with six. So below seven is six. And if you don't know your scale theory and all of that stuff, just soak this in right now. It's like, oh, well, that would be cool to know the fretboard that well someday, you know, keep, keep studying that stuff. For now, I'm not gonna go into the kind of introduction how to do that because I just wanna show you these shapes for the most part so you can play with them. But I do want you to understand that it comes from the scale structure and um, knowing that, okay, if seven is here, six is here, that's kind of always the case. You can always do that. You'll see more examples in a second. So now we just have this voicing here, okay? Now you, a lot of shapes and a lot of voicings can be interpreted as many, many things. So someone might know this as a, a C minor seven chord. It also could be a C minor seven chord if you call C the root, but we're not, we're calling E flat the root. So this is actually E flat major six. Uh, so now it's five, one, three, six. Now, again, don't worry about tracking all of that. I'm kind of talking through all those numbers because I want it to, I want to make it clear that that's how I'm thinking to find this stuff, to hear it, to map it out on the fretboard, etc. But let's just kind of grab a bunch of voicings. So far we have three. We have our root position, E flat major seven, and then we have our 
E flat major seven we got up there, and then our um, replacing the seven with the six. Okay, so three voicings. Okay, so here's another voicing that is going to be really cool to use. That's putting the E flat on the top here, and of course you can do this off of any root. I'm just choosing E flat because uh, it just sounded good to me in the moment here. Um, so this is the voicing that I that I want us to do next. Now this can be you can use this any time you're on E flat major seven. Anytime you're playing E flat major seven, this is great. The top note is E flat. This next note below is the five. This next note below is the nine. This next note below is the six. We just talked about how you can have the six instead of the seven. And nine is an extension. Nine is the same as two. And it's a type of chord tone that can be added on that's called an extension. Don't, again, don't sweat about understanding all that if you don't know it yet, but just kind of, that's the sound of it. And just wanted to point out what that is. So, so look what we get now. We actually have the root. E flat, and then we have the next note down in the scale is the top note. The next note down is the in the scale is the top note. And well, now we're getting melodic material. Okay, this shape that we used up here. Now you don't have to bar it, but I often bar that, so you can use your fingertips there. This shape that we had up here, we can use the same shape with the five on the top. Now, how am I getting all this stuff? Uh, just to back it up for one sec, knowing the scales will tell you all that stuff. If I'm like, how do you know it's the five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So it's a reminder that scales are important and everything comes from them. Everything in tonal music comes from them. So yes, they're really important to know. Um, so this is the five, this is the nine now, this is the six now, and this is the three. So it totally works. Third of the chord, six of the chord, nine of the chord, five of the chord. Well, same shape up here is the six and the nine and the five and the root. So it's like the same physical shape, just everything moved around. Well, now we have this. And that all is the same chord. That all it can be interpreted, used over in interchangeably with E flat, any of them. There's not even like a dissonant passing, there's not like a tension passing chord or anything. They all can be consonant, just hanging out, sitting with it, totally working over that same chord. So how many voicings do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, okay? The two other that I'm gonna give you, and you can see how, how, um, how many options there eventually could be, uh, and you don't need to know them all, nobody knows them all, but you work out stuff that works for you and that you like the sound of, and that's that's how it goes. Um, the next, t the two that we're gonna add on are this, the root, the third, and the six, just those notes. Root, third, six. And then replace six with seven. This is like a shell voicing, V flat major seven, root, third, seven, and then E flat major six, root, third, six. That's without the five in either of those. Okay, so this kind of neo soul style that's that's very very cool sounding, very popular. A big part of it is is just these hammer on kind of slurred notes. So even though this, where I'm lifting off the pinky, I'm not calling it one of our voicings. We're just kind of doing a uh, a quick note, a grace note onto that pinky note of this chord, onto the third of that chord, and then that can you, that can be done with any of these. So I love that sound between those. Now, if you just if you just groove on these, that percussive element thing is is great with this. I, the video on this channel from last week is about the percussive adding percussive element to uh, finger style playing or strumming. I'll put a link to that in the description, but. Right? Sometimes I'll break up the chord, I'll play the top note first and then kind of pluck the, the rest of them. And I'm only just using these voicings for now, but the seven is, is plenty, is a lot to move around with. So if you were just grooving on one chord and you just knew this one voicing, well, we hear how all right, when is the chord gonna change kind of thing. That, not that you can't make great music that way, because I like stuff with a single harmony too, but now the reason that something with a single harmony might be 
working for us is usually that there's still something interesting going on. This is all single harmony. This is all E flat major. E flat major six or E flat major seven. A nine is just optional in there, so it's in some of these voicings and not and, and not in others. So again. Sometimes these voicings that you can kind of move two notes between interchangeably, I call them non-static chord shapes. You know, instead of just a chord shape, it's like a chord shape with two notes um, on one string that you can interchange between. That's what you could think of as some, in some of these cases, you could think of like this as just an interchangeable single chord shape, like a non-static chord shape. So anyway, the main takeaway here, first of all, is just these sounds are great but they're all one chord. They are all one chord. If you looped a bass line of just like E flat, I'm doing like the one and five of E flat, and then you jammed over that, or if you're playing in a band and you're like, hey everybody, we're just jamming on E flat major, just E flat major, or E flat major seven, or E flat major six. Um, you know, these, don't, these won't work on E flat major, that's like a dominant chord. That changes the harmony underneath too much. But if it's like the one chord of a key or the four chord of a key, all of those work. So it's just gives you so much. This is all one chord. So pretty cool stuff. I hope you play with some of those voicings, get that style a little bit, and start exploring more interchangeable chords when you're thinking of one chord. How many other voicings, or can you find a few other voicings of something that works with it? Doesn't have to be the exact same chord, but something that is interchangeable. It's very interactive, it's very dynamic, um, it's very expressive, and gives us um, the fluidity that I think we want in our playing. If you want a resource for looking into chord shapes that can be interchangeable with each other, kind of like what we did here, definitely get my free chord chart called Chords with Color. It has a bunch of chords through five different keys, tons of chord shapes in a totally organized way. So you can see with normal chords, how can you find multiple different types of voicings that you can replace with that that might add more texture and more color like adding the nine or adding the 11 or what have you. So it's a very useful chord chart plus shows a bunch of the most common chord progressions as well. Just go to chordswithcolor.com or use the link in the description. That's it for this lesson. Take care and happy practicing. Mm -hmm.